Justin Trudeau's response to the execution of Robert Hall. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. In amongst all the stories about the terrorist attack in Orlando, the stories about who the terrorist was, about the victims, who they were, we seem to have forgotten an important story in this country. That a Canadian, Robert Hall, was executed by the Islamic terrorist group Abu Sayyaf. He's the second Canadian killed in the last few months. His friend, John Ridsdale, killed just a short time ago by the same group. This is in part due to the inaction of the Canadian government, but I'm not here to criticize them and say that's a bad thing. Abu Sayyaf wanted the Canadian government to pay millions of dollars in ransom in order to have Hall released, and Justin Trudeau refused to pay it, saying that Canada doesn't negotiate with terrorists, Canada does not pay ransom. It's a stance he stood by while reacting to Hall's murder. Canada holds the terrorist group who took Mr. Hall hostage fully responsible for this cold-blooded and senseless murder. When I was at the G7 summit just recently, Canada and our G7 partners reiterated that terrorist hostage takings only fuel more violence and instability. Canada cannot and will not pay ransoms to terrorists. We will not turn the maple leaf worn with pride by over three million Canadians abroad into targets. I have to agree with them. Paying ransom would make every Canadian traveling abroad a target. And it does send the wrong message that we're going to help these terrorists who fund their activities through can ransom, through extortion. We will fund their terrorist activities. That's not something Canada should be doing. But there should be a response. And I don't think that after the death of John Ridsdale or Robert Hall that our response has been strong enough. Trudeau says we will work to bring them to justice, but doesn't exactly explain how. We are more committed than ever to working with the government of the Philippines and international partners to pursue those responsible for these heinous acts and bring them to justice, however long it takes. Terrorism is a scourge on the world. Too many families have endured the unspeakable grief the Hall, uh, the Hall family is feeling today because of these senseless acts of hatred. On behalf of them and of all Canadians, we mourn their loss and reassert our resolve. Now, this may sound like vengeance. If it is, so be it. I think that Canada should be sending in a special forces team. A a section of JTF-2 commandos to go in on a training mission with the local Filipino forces and eradicate as many of these people as they can. Let them know who did it and tell them not to mess with Canada again. That's the type of message you do want to send to terrorist groups around the world, that if you mess with Canadians, Canadians will mess back with you. It may sound old school, it may sound vengeful, it may sound Old Testament, that, all of that's fine. We need to be sending a message to people that Canada is not to be trifled with, that the life of a Canadian will mean something. I agree with not paying ransom, but sending in the RCMP to help investigate simply isn't strong enough. We need a stronger message to be sent to Abu Sayyaf. Eradicating them completely? Well, that would be the best solution. If not, just leave enough of them alive to tell the others who came for them and not to do it again. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.